We have live team coverage of the return in Columbia and in Jefferson City this evening. ABC 17's Amber Tabling leads off our team coverage tonight after sitting in on a meeting on the city's travel and tourism industry. And Amber, the travel economy dropped drastically since last year, but not all hope is lost. Deborah, Amy Schneider, the director of Columbia's Convention and Visitors Bureau, said that travel spending is expected to fall nationwide more than $1 trillion this year. It certainly is something that we need to recognize and uh, hopefully we as a community can come together and go, hey, maybe we need to stay in a hotel or two or we need to patronize these restaurants and, and maybe do a little bit more travel and tourism locally so that we can help bring that back. Schneider said Columbia Hotel occupancy fell by 21.5% over April of 2020 and went from collecting nearly $300,000 in lodging taxes in 2019 to collecting just over $50,000 in 2020. The terrible thing about this pandemic was that it shut us down pretty quickly. It wasn't like a tornado or an earthquake where we had a bunch of infrastructure that was wrecked. Our infrastructure is still intact. You know, we are still in a position to be able to fix the problem, which is COVID. And once that happens, then people can come back with very little limitations. Schneider said the future of the travel economy will slowly rebuild as it's just seen its fourth consecutive week of expansion. I think it's just getting people out and about and people getting more and more comfortable being out. So maybe they're comfortable going to their local restaurant and they find that to be a pleasant experience. And so they go, maybe we can go to, you know, a, a town and stay at a hotel, that kind of thing. I think it's just a slow build back up. And later at 6, we'll dive deeper into what the Ready organization is doing to help businesses rebound after the effects of COVID-19. Live in Columbia, Amber Tabling, ABC 17 News.